Tonight, an escalating war of words between Governor Dan McKee and Attorney General Peter Nerona over why a Guatemalan man wanted by ICE was released from custody last year. And today, the governor's office released documents that they argue show nobody dropped the ball. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us now with what we know tonight. Kayla? Well, the reason we're even talking about this is because U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, put out a statement last week announcing they'd caught the suspect, Manuel Garcia de la Cruz, and criticizing Rhode Island officials for releasing him last year. The AG echoed that criticism, but now the governor is firing back. Why did Rhode Island officials release Manuel Garcia de la Cruz from custody, even though ICE had a detainer on him? The Guatemalan national is facing charges of child molestation, but was granted bail by a judge last April. And I would not speculate on anything until we hear that, that actual uh, timeline. After criticism from federal immigration authorities, Governor Dan McKee's office on Thursday released a sheriff's report from April 26th, the day Garcia de la Cruz posted bail in district court. According to the report, after Garcia de la Cruz posted bail, the deputy sheriff called ICE because the suspect had a separate federal immigration detainer notice. But the ICE agent said his agency was short-staffed and they would not be able to pick him up. After that, the governor's office says state agencies had no choice but to release Garcia de la Cruz, citing a 2014 federal court ruling that they say means, quote, Rhode Island cannot hold a person in custody based upon an ICE detainer alone. Do I think they should review how it happened? I sure do. In an interview with 12 News Tuesday, Attorney General Peter Narona suggested McKee needed to explain why the Department of Corrections and Division of Sheriffs let the suspect go. That's something that they need to review and questions are directed to those agencies and the leaders of those agencies and ultimately uh, the person to whom those agencies report. In response to the AG's statements in our story, Governor McKee's spokesperson called Nerona's criticism unfounded, saying it gave, quote, the false impression that Mr. Garcia de la Cruz's release was as a result of some act or omission by state agencies. Neither McKee nor Nerona were available to speak with us on camera for this story. ICE has not yet responded to questions about what happened or why the agency suggested that Rhode Island officials ignored the detainer. Garcia de la Cruz remains in ICE custody. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.